Hello adventurers, I'm folding laundry and I seem to do a lot of videos, at least try and do a lot of videos with me folding laundry and as you can see it's kind of a mess down here but I don't actually end up posting them because I get interrupted like halfway through let's push that in there. I get interrupted like halfway through and then I lose my flow and then I'm like what was I saying? so I start repeating myself and then I go off on a tangent and it all goes awful so this morning I'm doing this once and for all I am getting this video done it's going to be a short one I hope and we're just gonna have a quick chat about the stuff that's coming up. A little vlog, monologue because I'm not having anyone else in it, because um, they're all driving me crazy. What's been going on? What's been going on? Well, since Christmas, we have been quite busy. The school routine just wasn't working for us. Um, and I say for us, I mean, the kids weren't happy. I was having to like drag them through what I was doing and I was like this clearly isn't working for you right now like the whole reason they're not in school is so it's not hard for them to get an education um which I truly believe it would be if they were at school just because of who they are um and I was like okay this needs to be easier I need a freaking break but I can't take a break from homeschooling them so what can I do so we basically decided, instead of being eclectic homeschoolers that kind of whip a bit from here and from there, that we would become a unit study based family. And so far, so good. I don't know if you can hear them yelling upstairs, Phil is with them, they are not alone having a god knows whatever they're getting up upset. Anyway, so we started this new unit study based thing this week gone, it's Sunday today and um and it's gone really well actually phil taught the first unit study it was about amphibians and it went really really well the kids really enjoyed it it didn't take very long probably took about an hour and they covered it was mainly they covered science um and everyone was really excited and happy to be doing it so it was a win it was a win um this week we're doing um history geography um and and also it had art as well so it had science and art and crafts and um this time this week we're doing the united kingdom which is where we live and i'm doing that one and it's got it's geography history and cookery um i'm quite excited about doing it with them i've got some resources that i got from a um a home ed like co-op so yeah, you know studies. So that's what we've been doing. And we've had the sea of birthdays. So Bessie turned six on the 1st of January. Charles turned eight on the 9th of January. And we are now, I just went like that to look at my watch's hair and my watch is upstairs. I feel naked without it now. Um, and um, yeah, and then Albert's birthday is on the 26th. Um, so we are now waiting for, for that birthday, um, but we're in this kind of calm before the last birthday, there's like a two weeks between um, the, the second birthday and the third birthday, so it's like, oh, this is so chill and lovely, and um, getting back into a routine and then we kind of just have a day off rather than like two weeks off like we do for the other two, just because it just gets so stressful. Um, I have more time to prepare for um albert's birthday than i do the other two's birthday because bessie's birthday before christmas and then we've got and then charles's birthday we have um have bessie's birthday obviously have bessie's birthday straight away so yeah <laughs> so what else have we been up to what else have we been up to not a lot not a lot really that's, that's a bit about it we had Albert had an accident and ended up in A&E this week, which is not cool. If you are friends with me on Facebook, you would have seen the picture. Um, I didn't post it anywhere else just because it was a bit gross and horrific. He 
was playing with a plastic tent pole that I had taken away about four times and his little buddy that was around at the time kept finding it and he kept finding it and I was putting him up high and they somehow kept getting it and it was just driving me insane. So um, yeah, they found it and I literally kept saying to him, stop putting it in your mouth, stop putting it in your mouth, stop putting it in your mouth like you do. And I then said it for the, the final time and said, if you put it in your mouth, like I was about to say, if you put it in your mouth and you fall over, you'll hurt yourself and it'll be really bad. We'll have to go to the hospital. And literally, so I went, if you keep, and he just went boom and hit the deck and the pole went doof, the edge of the rounded pole went doof into the roof of his mouth. And he was just like, <gasps> and like screamed and his mouth was like, like that. And I thought, you know, when kids are shocked, they just kind of go, <gasps> Like that i thought that's what he was doing and i was like <laughs> like blowing in his face and like come on dude come on like cry and i think and i saw this and then the blood was like vroom, 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 out the roof of his mouth obviously mixing with saliva so it looked like it was just gushing and it was kind of vroom, 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 out of his mouth i was like shit taki mushrooms has it hit something important how far has it gone oh my god and luckily we had my friend michelle here and her two children and i was like i'm really sorry you're gonna have to stay here with my big two i'm gonna get him to a &E. she was like no, no 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 go 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 so she stayed at home with the children so i didn't have to call anyone to come get them which was really useful and um tried to ring phil at work get hold of him rang his work number got a hold of one of his colleagues who um was like i'll get him i'll send him to you and and he did he did get to us um but yeah oh it's scary we got there and it was fine we got there and it was fine um he had he they he had stopped bleeding by the time we got there he'd calmed down i calmed down and phil arrived after we went to see the nurse he was given some cow pole um phil then arrived from work he was fine he's like daddy daddy and i was like seriously he's screaming like half an hour ago <laughs> we got here and he was fine um by the time we went in it was starting to clot it was clotting and it looked like a started to look like a scab and it was looking fabulous excuse me and it was looking fabulous the gp actually ended up chatting to us more about random stuff than he did about albert because albert was, he was like well i could stitch it but not really worth it it's already healing and I'm like, yeah, well, if you don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Or in this case, if it ain't broke enough, don't fix it. Um, I brushed my hair this morning. It's already knotty again. And I've just had it in a ponytail. It's really annoying. Ow. Um, um, yeah, so we came home and he just said, maybe give him soft food for a few days. But he didn't even need that. So it was all good. Um, yeah. So that was, that's, that's our drama for the week gee whiz it was ridiculous and scary but it was fine it was fine in the end um what else there's nothing else we've been doing stuff that's coming up not a lot however i have got a new watch i have a galaxy fitbit e no not fitbit e i was reading a post on fitbits earlier that's why it's in my head a galaxy fit e and i'm going to do a review on that i'm going to kind of show you what it does and the settings and the app that's on my phone that matches it and then what it's like when i go out it's really good i really like it and it's quite comfortable on my wrist as well you can get loads of different colors of strap i'm waiting for that to come and then i will do a video on that to give it a review um what other what else can you i want to do a q a as well so if you want to ask me any questions pop them down in the comments on this video i'm also going to do that on my instagram channel and see if anyone wants to ask me anything on there I doubt it. I doubt you have any questions. If you do, then let me know and I'll answer them. Um, what's the other thing? Oh yeah, so routines. I've been working really, really hard on my routines. I've been, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been doing a bit of a health kick, eating healthier, ooh, fellow, eating healthier, exercising more, so on. And I am gonna post about that, do a morning routine, and you can see me do my morning routine, um, which is new. And it's a bit scary like i'm still kind of going i did it kind of thing i'm not it's not a routine yet it's not a habit yet i'm just following it. i still have to carry a piece of paper around with me with it all written out i got the idea from hope and homeschools uh, lindsay from hope and homeschool her mom binder 
course it's amazing it will change your life she's not joking when she says that however we call it a house binder because to the patriarchy um so <laughs> do you want to see what i do in a day or in a morning or my bedtime routine with the kids or my bedtime routine i don't do hair and makeup tutorials as you can see this is my hair this is my face yeah that's about it any questions that you want me to answer add them to the comments or instagram me and i will do that video soon i'm really sorry i hope you're still here love you bye